When you want to move a signal that travels across a trace from one side of a PCB to another, say from the front to the back, you can create a via. A via is a hole with its sides covered with copper or gold or some other conductive material that allows a trace to continue its route across layers. In the image in this slide, you can see the two sides of the same PCB. On the left, the arrows point to two vias in the front of the PCB, and on the right, the circles indicate the same vias on the back of the PCB. Vias are very similar to through-hole pads, except that they don't have any exposed copper, they are covered by the solder mask, and they don't have a pad, so you can't solder a component. In simple circuits with only a few components, it's possible to create all of the traces in one layer of the PCB. But when a PCB gets busy with more components, it quickly becomes impossible to do the routing on a single layer. When multiple layers are needed, VIAs provide the simplest method of allowing a trace to use the available board's real estate. In the illustration in this slide, you can see the types of interconnections between layers that are possible. For through-hole components, you would design a hole that connects the top and bottom copper layers. This hole is implemented using a drill. It's wide enough to allow for the pin of the component to go through it. These are much smaller than normal holes in terms of their diameters. They are not wide enough for pins to go through them, but they are plated just like holes and they allow for electrical connections between layers to take place. A through via is like a hole but narrower. It connects the top and bottom layers. A buried via is a via that connects two internal layers. A blind via also connects two layers but has one end exposed onto the outside of the board, either top or bottom. In high density boards, another option for interconnecting layers is to use microvias. A microvia is made using high powered lasers instead of a mechanical drill. The use of lasers makes it possible to dramatically reduce the diameter of the via. Let's move on to the next lecture and have a look at annular rings.